Up until only recently, we believed that our own solar system, consisting of the Sun and eight planets, was the only solar system to actually harbor a planetary system. However, in 1995, using a technique called radial velocity detection, astronomers revealed that a gas giant orbited the star 51 Pegasi every four days. Since then, we've confirmed the existence of more than 350 planets orbiting other star systems, uh, with the closest one just over 10 light years away. Now, astronomers estimate that at least 10% of stars have planets orbiting them. And there is one tantalizing question that is yet to be answered. Could these planets harbor life? Now, answering this question alone seems enough of an incentive to try and visit these exoplanets, as they are called. But there are a number of other good reasons why we should go. Humans have long been explorers, and all the frontiers of Earth have been well charted. Exploring space opens up a new frontier of exploration, and with that exploration would come many riches and varied discoveries that would invariably contribute knowledge and a sense of wonder to our civilization. Indeed, there is also the question of our own survival. There will come a time in the distant future when the sun's nuclear fuel will become exhausted. The sun will then expand beyond the orbit of the Earth into what is called the red giant stage of its life. The Earth will sadly become engulfed in a fiery inferno and life will become impossible on Earth. Now, although this event lies many billions of years into our future, it is an eventual inevitability. And this alone justifies study of propulsion systems that may allow us one day to leave the cradle of the Earth and journey beyond the confines of our solar system. Thank you.